Hello and thank you for joining in. My name is Nkeme Luago and today we would be setting up a domain on the Google Workspace Admin Console. To get started as an admin, you log into admin.google.com and once you are logged in, scroll all the way down to account, expand this, click on domains, click on overview. And here you see the first option is to manage domains. You click on that. And that brings you to the domain page where you can change uh, your primary domain. You can verify a domain. You can deactivate a domain that you already have on your workspace. So getting started, let's add a domain first you click on add a domain and here you have the option number one is the domain name so our domain name in this instance is this that is our domain name then it says select a domain type it means what would you be using this domain for would it be a secondary domain or a user alias domain? And you can read up on the descriptions to see the difference between the secondary domain and the user alias domain. So once you select the domain type, you click on add domain and start verification. Now this brings you to this now this brings you to this page where you get to verify your domain. Okay, so first one you can do a TX verification or you could even switch and use other methods, for example, creating a C name record to verify your domain. Well let's work with creating a TX record which is recommended. Okay? So we click on next and here we are giving a TS record which we can impute into our DNS manager for our domain. So I copy the TX record and you also have some options here that you know guides you on how you can do this, right? Okay, so I will simply go to my DNS manager. I will choose the record type as TX. I would choose my host name as at and I would verify, I would input in the verification uh, value and I will save. So that is saved successfully. Now I can go back and click on verify my domain. So this might take a while to propagate, but once it is done, uh, you could come over here and verify your domain. Now, this is verifying. Okay, so now that is verified. We have added our domain. Now, it is time to activate Gmail. That means we want to be able to use our domain to receive emails. Okay, so you can see the domain is added and it is added as a secondary domain. Now I can go ahead and click on activate Gmail. And here I can set up my MX records and I click next. Okay, it says ready to activate Gmail, you know, you check the boxes and you click continue. And here you have the MX records, which you are to input into your DNS manager. And you have the server address and the priority. So let's go with the first one. At value the priority is five and we 
and we save. The next one, the priority is 5 as well. Now remember to copy including the period after the dot com. Okay, so now we add next record with a priority of 10. Then the next one with a priority of 10 again. Now all records have been successfully added. Okay, now it's time to activate Gmail. We have imputed our records. So we come back to this page and we click activate Gmail. And it's going to confirm that the right email settings have been added. It's checking to confirm that the right records have been added. Okay, so I missed a record, which is this. And as you can see, because I missed a record, we are not able to proceed until I add this record. So I'm going to copy this record. And I would add it with a value of 1. And I will save the changes. So that has been added as well. Okay, let's retry. Okay, and now all the records have been successfully added. And as you can see, Gmail is now verified on this account. So, you know, I can go ahead and create my users uh, using this domain. So I can go ahead and create a new user with the new domain that has been added. And this new user can, you know, receive emails and send out emails from this email address. And as simple as this, you have added, you know, a domain in your Google Workspace Admin Console. Thank you so much for joining in. Please like, subscribe and share this video.